Now, as we know in Africa, danger does come in many shapes and sizes. For a while, people would think, and you would probably think, that the rhinos don't seem to have too much to worry about. I mean, look at that horn. It's pretty wicked, especially on this eastern black rhinoceros. But unfortunately, this horn doesn't really, do, doesn't really protect these guys from poachers. These are the same outlaws that kill elephants, tigers, lions, you name it, many different animals. They've been hunting rhinos for money too. But what they don't seem to understand is that rhinos are really more worth to us alive. For one thing, these creatures have been around, said, for millions and millions of years. Now, not necessarily this guy, because I mean, I'm guessing he hasn't been around that long. But what I mean is many different cousins like him, like the woolly rhino and other rhino-like animals that are part of that same family, they've been around for millions of years. Now, Easter, now black rhinos are very much different from their cousins, the white rhino. But there's no, there's really, it's nothing to do with white or black. It really, differ, the white rhino originally gets its name for wide. It should be wide lip because that's the Afrikaans word for wide for their lips, but un- which le- labels them as grazers. But black rhinos aren't grazers. In fact, if you were able to see it, you could see that these creatures have more of a prehensile lip that's more effective for eating the leaves off of bushes and sometimes trees if they're close to the ground. Now, unfortunately, these guys really are what we call endangered. In fact, to- back in 2011, the western black rhino, sadly, was declared extinct because of poaching and loss of habitat. So we've already lost one rhino subspecies. Do we need to lose another in our lifetime? I don't think I could, because you can imagine my devastation when when the Western was declared gone forever.